Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health, and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be. But you don't know where to begin. You have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. We are here for you on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you have a success story you'd like to share, we love hearing those. Or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, you can call the Bright Side Bend phone team at 866-735-2470. Or if you want to order products, you can call 866-735-2470. You can also find the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team if you're an entrepreneur or entrepreneurially minded or if you want to start your own business, working out of the home, making your own hours, helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee off the websites brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben team. If you want to purchase any of our, young, uh, our Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal C Balm, and Truth Transdermal C Serum. Voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar Magazine. Also, our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. They're all up at truthtreatments.com. We've got a skin health blog. And also, free shipping in July. Got a couple more days to get free shipping on Truth Treatment products. They're all at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. We've been talking about cardiovascular health, the health of the heart, and all the real things, the truly effective things that you can do to protect the body's most important organ, along with the brain, the body's most important organ. And by the way, we'll be talking about the relationship between the heart and the brain here in a little bit. They are, in essence, one organ, the heart-brain system. You could think of it as... There's lots of things you could do to protect your heart, heart disease being the leading killer in this country and around the world. And by the way, when I talk about lots of things you can really do to protect your heart, statin drugs are not included. Statin drugs will at best reduce heart attack risks by a minuscule 1% or even less and at the cost of side effects, which always occur when you have drugs, whether you know it or not. You know, even if you don't feel a side effect, and 60% plus of statin drug users quit taking their statin drugs because they actually feel crappy, but you can have side effects and not even notice it. Just taking a prescription drug is going to cost your body nutrition. 
Just taking a prescription drug is going to cost your body precious resources, B-complex and magnesium and copper and zinc. All are required for detoxification, which means you are going to run a greater risk of nutritional deficiencies, whether you know it or not. You may just get frequent colds and, and, and not relate your frequent colds or frequent infections or fatigue. You may not relate it to uh, uh, the drugs that you're taking. There's no way to avoid an adverse or side reaction when you take a prescription drug because simply just taking the darn thing is going to cost you some kind of nutri nutrient. 60% of patients get side effects significant enough to quit taking their statin drugs. So when I talk about things you can really do for your heart, I'm not talking prescription drugs, not just statin drugs. I'm talking about any prescription drugs. What are some of the things you could do to protect your heart, truly protect your heart? The ketogenic diet, one of the best things you could do to protect your heart. The heart loves fat. Surprise, surprise. The heart loves fat. It runs on fat. The ketogenic diet is a heart-friendly diet. Building connective tissue, using glucosamine, using vitamin C, using essential fatty acids. Make sure you're, you're uh, enjoying your bone soup, using collagen supplements. Supporting the microbiome, there is a major, major relationship between the health of the intestine and the microbiome, the universe of bacteria that live in the intestine, and heart health. When was the last time your cardiologist told you to make sure you're using probiotics to protect your heart? Way more important than a statin drug. Calorie restriction. Eating less food. The less nutrients your body has to expend on digestion, the less nutrients your body has to expend on figuring out what to do with calories, the healthier your heart will be. Reducing body fat. Every pound of body fat contains hundreds, maybe thousands of miles of blood vessels. That means that your heart has to work harder. The more body fat you're carrying, the harder, you're, the harder your heart is going to be working. Using vitamin C daily. No, using vitamin C throughout the day. If you have any cardiovascular health problems, if you want to protect against cardiovascular health problems, if you're young and healthy and you don't want to get heart disease, use vitamin C daily. Sip on it all day long. One of the most important benefits of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C per dose. Sip on your BTT all day long. And don't take drugs. Don't take beta blockers. Don't take calcium channel blockers, diuretics, hormones, other pharmacology. If your doctor told you you're going to be on a beta blocker the rest of your life, that is lazy, lazy medicine. There's no way a beta blocker is not going to affect other systems of the body. The beta, the beta nervous system, which is blocked by beta blocker drugs, is responsible for energizing the heart. Do we really want to de-energize the heart? Is that a good idea? Calcium channel blockers look the same way, and this is why beta blockers and calcium channel blockers are among the most deadly of all drugs, along with blood thinning drugs. It really, cardiovascular drugs are among the most toxic of all drugs because the body regulates the cardiovascular system very, very tightly. And it doesn't like drugs that disrupt this, uh, this regulation of the cardiovascular system. Use magnesium. Maybe, arguably, the heart's most important mineral. Arguably, the heart's most important nutrient, along with vitamin C. Magnesium daily. Coenzyme Q10 daily. Coenzyme Q10 is incredibly important for cardiovascular health. And, oh, ironically, statin drugs suppress the body's production of coenzyme Q10. CoQ10 is not an essential nutrient in the sense that the body can make it, but you can't make it. At least you can't make it in sufficient amounts if you're taking a statin drug. And if you are one of the many millions of Americans who's on a statin drug, I think at last count some 25 or 30 million Americans are taking a statin drug, maybe more, it's absolutely vital that you get on a coenzyme Q10 supplement, maybe 100 milligrams or so a day. Use carnitine incredibly important uh, nutrient for the heart. Carnitine helps the body utilize fats and turn, fa turn fats into energy. The heart is very dependent on this process of fats being transformed into energy and carnitine is largely responsible for this process. Get enough sleep. Make sure you're resting. Make sure you're relaxing the body. Make sure you're activating the parasympathetic nervous system. Relax, meditation, yoga, and exercise. A little bit of exercise is always helpful for everything that has to do with the body, including cardiovascular health. These are real things that we can do. And you know what? We don't need a doctor for any of it. We don't need a drugstore or a pharmacist for any of it. 
You don't need the medical model for any of it. Liberation from medical tyranny. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll return on the bright side right after this. All right, we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, if you have heart health issues, cardiovascular health issues, if you're on a statin drug or any drug and you want to wean yourself off your medication, we can help you do that, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if nutritional supplementation has helped you or your family or your loved ones, Please share the good news. It's one thing when I talk about it as a healthcare professional, but when when somebody's actually experienced the power and the benefits of a good nutritional supplement program, shares and uh, their, the benefits they've received or, or their loved ones or family members have received, it's so much more important. There's no way you can get on a nutritional supplement program, a strategic nutritional supplement program, and not feel better. If you're not feeling better when you're on a nutritional supplement program, chances are you're not doing it correctly. That's one of the great benefits of the longevity system of the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. You get everything you need in the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients and the Healthy Start Pack, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Osteo FX, and the Ultimate EFAs. You can find all the longevity products, including the Healthy Start Pack, at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, we'll get your calls here in uh, our next segment, as we always do on the Bright Side. Some more things that you could do for uh, more nutritional supplements that you can use to take care of your heart. Vitamin E, unbelievably important. All forms of vitamin E. Remember, there's eight different forms of vitamin E. They're all important. Tocopherols and tocotrienols. If I have, if I had a heart, uh, a heart health problem, man, I would be doing 400 to 800 international units of vitamin E. I do 400 IU of vitamin E every day. But if you have a heart health issue, it becomes incredibly important to use vitamin E. The selenium, uh, ultimate selenium from longevity. Selenium is incredibly important for the heart. Selenium deficiency is known to cause heart disease, Keyshawn's disease. Glucosamine and chondroitin, as I mentioned, also very important for cardiovascular health. Carnitine and also something called carnosine. Carnitine and carnosine sometimes get mixed up. They're both important for heart health. Carnitine is a major heart protective nutrient. Dr. Stephen Sinatra talks about it all the time. Carnitine is important for fat metabolism and the heart is very dependent on the energy that is derived from fat. That's why the ketogenic diet is so helpful for the heart. Carnosine, which is different from carnitine, carnitine, carnitine has been found to increase blood flow and blood supply to the heart. It's been shown to help strengthen the contractions and the beating of the heart. As we get older, our carnosine levels decline. Supplementing with carnosine can be very important. The B-complex, super important for lowering homocysteine levels. Again, like vitamin C, water-soluble. You want to make sure you're using your B-complex and your vitamin C throughout the day. This is why the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is so important. Beyond Tangy Tangerine is a source of vitamin C as well as the B-complex. There's another interesting supplement called Betaine, which you'll find in the Ultimate Enzymes. Betaine also helps lower homocysteine levels. You'll see Betaine on the ingredient deck, on the nutrition facts of your Ultimate Enzymes as Betaine HCL. We often talk about the HCL component, which is a way of uh, improving digestion, HCL being hydrochloric acid. But the Betaine component is very important for cardiovascular health. In fact, digestive enzymes themselves are also important for heart health. Digestive enzymes can help thin the blood a little bit, keeping, uh, keeping, uh, uh, improving blood flow and improving, blood flow, improving blood, flow, blood flow through the body and also improving blood circulation into the heart. Blood delivers oxygen, of course, as well as nutrients. So keeping your blood moving effectively is very, very important for cardiovascular health. Just deep breathing, oxygenation can help improve blood flow. That's one of the major benefits of oxygenation. When we don't breathe correctly or when we're inflamed, inflammation also being a way that uh, oxygen, is, uh, oxygen levels drop to the, to the tissues of the body, making sure that you're uh, reducing your, in your intake of pro-inflammatory foods, especially sugar. Nothing will mess up your heart more than sugar and elevated insulin levels. In fact, a lot of, including, a lot of healthcare professionals, including myself, Myself, think heart disease and cardiovascular health issues in general are really blood sugar issues. 
If you look up metabolic syndrome, you'll see cardiovascular health issues, strokes, heart attacks. These are all part of what are called metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome being based in problems with the body handling sugar. Less sugar, lower your insulin levels. These are all strategies we can all employ from the comfort of our own homes, comfort of our own living rooms, comfort of our own kitchen, without having to deal with, a, with uh, in any way with the medical model. The heart is such an amazing organ. And such an underappreciated organ, this fleshy, gooey system beats 100,000 times a day, nearly all the time in this perfect rhythmic fashion that is the end result of the coordination of millions and millions of individual cells, individual electrical cells that turn on and off in this unbelievably organized and synchronized and coherent fashion to allow a current to spread through the heart. It is absolutely mind-blowing how this happens. And it happens every second of every day. In other words, for these, uh, for uh, the 100,000 heartbeats that occur every day in the heart to occur uh, systematically and uh, uh, in a synchronized and a coherent fashion, individual cells have to turn on and off in this coordinated way that allows the current to pass through the entire organ. It is unbelievable how this happens, and it happens 100,000 times a day, 3 billion times in an 80-year lifetime, and for most of us, we don't even think twice about it. The blood that the heart has to push is a super heavy, sticky liquid that has to travel through 60,000 miles of blood vessels. If you stretched out all your blood vessels end to end, it would go from New York to California 20 times. The amazingness of the human body is exemplified. It's a, 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 the heart is an icon, a, 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 the ultimate symbol of the amazingness of the human body. And there's a very interesting relationship also between the heart and the brain. The heart and the brain are in constant communication with each other. Heart rhythm information is traveling from the heart to the brain, which is responsible for synchronizing the heart with our behaviors. So information travels from the heart to the brain. The brain interprets that information. And then based on the information it's getting from the heart, it allows us to do certain things. It allows us to have action. Uh, allows us to behave in certain ways. Based on how the brain is interpreting what the heart is doing, based on how the brain is interpreting the beating and the rhythm and the pace and the speed of what the heart is telling it, this, by the way, is called coherence. Based on the coherence between the heart and the brain, we have better or worse memory. We have better or worse focus. We have an increased or decreased ability to process information. We have improved or, or disrupted reaction times based on the coherence between the messaging, or based on the coherence of the messaging between the heart and the brain. When it's working correctly, when the, uh, the coherence or the fidelity of the messaging between the heart and the brain is accurate, when the heart is in coherence with the brain, we, are in better, uh, we have better emotional states. Our mind works better. From a physiologic standpoint, when the heart and the brain are communicating correctly, our immune system works better. Our hormone system works better. Our nervous system works better. In fact, you could, call, you could say that the heart and the brain are essentially one unified system. In fact, you actually have neurons, emotional neurons in your heart. Your heart is like an emotional brain. How amazing is this? All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on The Bright Side. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, and 10 to 11 Central Time. 
24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, pharmacist, uh, benfuchsarchives.com, and uh, brightsideben.com. You can purchase longevity products off pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and also brightsideben.com. This is your nutritional, common sense nutritional program. We're here for you every day, helping break down the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. From the journal Radiology, leaky blood-brain barrier linked to Alzheimer's disease. How interesting is this? We always talk about leaky gut syndrome, but you know, you can have leaky blood-brain syndrome too. In other words, leaks can occur into the brain through the blood. The blood is separated from the brain. The brain is protected from things that are in the blood. But when leaks occur, disease can follow, including Alzheimer's disease, also Parkinson's disease. How do you get leaky? How do you get a leaky blood-brain barrier? The same way you get leaky gut syndrome. Toxicity in the blood, particularly food toxicity, especially gluten. Yes, you can have gluten disease celiac disease of the brain and this can result in Alzheimer's disease when you have uh, leaky blood and the uh, uh, particles in the blood leak into the brain in combination with messed up gut bacteria you can actually have bacterial toxins that can enter into the into the blood and ultimately into the brain as well just another reason why you want to make sure that you're laying off gluten and laying off lectins that is plant toxins that can affect the blood negatively from uh, the journal Toxicology, researchers highlight negative impact of antidepressants on aquatic life. Two teams of research researchers have published separate papers in the journal Toxicology regarding the negative impact of antidepressants on aquatic life. That's right. There are drugs in the water that are killing the fish. Drugs in the water are killing the fish. Prozac in the water, killing the fish. Birth control pills in the water, killing the fish. Birth control pills in the water, causing gender bender phenomena in frogs and fish and other aquatic life. Frogs born with uh, uh, male and female characteristics because of birth control pills and other estrogenic substances in the water. From the journal Biomed Central, why? Sure, I'm sorry, the journal BMC Nutrition. This is uh, from uh, last week. Why sugary drinks and protein-rich meals go together? Having a sugar-sweetened drink, i.e. Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, with a high-protein meal, i.e. a hamburger, may negatively affect energy balance, alter food preferences, and cause the body to store more fat. Lay off the sugary drinks when you're doing protein. On the other hand, fermented food goes great with protein. Sauerkraut and and, uh, uh, fermented vegetables, fermented radishes, Put them on top of your fish. Put them on top of your burgers. Everybody loves sauerkraut on top of their hot dogs, but you don't need to eat hot dogs to benefit from the relationship between fermented foods and high protein. Fermented foods contain bacteria and enzymes that can help you digest your protein, and they taste great together as well. Always put fermented foods on your on your high uh, fermented veggies on your high protein foods. All right, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Time to hit the phones. Uh, got lines open for you, by the way. Let's go to Pete in Minnesota. Welcome to the Bright Side, Pete. Good morning. How you doing, buddy? Hello. Hello, Pete. What's up, man? Hey, thanks for taking my call. Sure. I had a kind of a strange question. Okay. Uh, my wife uh, is pretty weak all the time, and I don't know if there's any correlation to, to the fact that she never perspires if she goes out in the heat. It um, knocks her out. Mm, that is a problem. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. related for sure. Uh, perspiration yeah. is one of the ways the body cools itself. And uh, if she's not perspiring, then body heat can go up, and she would definitely feel feel pretty crappy. How long is this something a new phenomena? No, it's been in existence forever, but it never gets discussed when she goes to the doctor. And I just start scratching my head, wondering if there's a correlation with diet or. Uh, well, here's how you're going to ha- uh, this is the best way to work with this, okay, Pete? Look for symptomology. Aside from the non-perspiring, uh, the lack of perspiration, look for other symptoms. In fact, you should be getting a little list going of all her symptomology starting with the digestive system. I don't know how, uh, if you've listened to this program before, how much you've been listening to it, but you always want to start off with the digestive system, especially if you have either a whole bunch of symptoms and you can't figure out what's causing a bunch of symptoms or if you have a strange symptom and you can't figure out what's causing it. This, this, this is in the category of a strange symptom, uh, a lack of perspiration, usually 
uh, too much perspiration. That's a, that's usually that's a little more common than lack of perspiration. So you want to look for. By the way, technical name is anhydrosis as opposed to hyperhidrosis. Anhydrosis meaning uh, the body doesn't have the ability to uh, to produce sweat. And a lot of times people don't even notice this thing, but uh, if it's been going on for a while, you want to look for other symptoms. I would start off with the digestive system first and foremost. Uh, look for problems with um, you know, bloating, gas, heartburn, anything like that, and link them to problem foods, and then, then eliminate those foods. That's the first thing you want to do. Always the first thing to do is backtrack your symptomology to the digestive system. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to work with the blood sugar system. Again, this is just generic ways that you handle health challenges, especially when they're confusing and you don't know where to begin or what to do. Number one, you start off with the uh, you start off with the digestive system. Number two, you work with the blood sugar system. If she's not sweating, it's more than likely a neurological issue. It has something to do with the nervous system. Sweat is controlled by the nerves. We know when people have multiple sclerosis or Guillain Barre syndrome or other neurological disorders that cause inflammation at the nervous system level, that this can cause problems with sweating. So more than likely, she's dealing with an inflammatory condition. Inflammatory conditions are always involved in in uh, health challenges and inflammatory conditions need to be backtracked to the blood sugar system and the digestive system. She can also use uh, anti-inflammatory nutrients. Magnesium is very important as an anti-inflammatory. Vitamin C and vitamin E are both very important. I'd be using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine as well as the Osteomag. Maybe a thousand milligrams of magnesium every day. Uh, has a nice relaxing effect and an anti-inflammatory effect as well as the B-complex and vitamin C. Vitamin E also very important. 400 international units a day of vitamin E. I would also be throwing in, if, uh, if I were you, I'd be th- or if I was your wife, I'd be throwing in something called alpha lipoic acid which is a, a very, very powerful anti antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. It's a little bit pricey. You have to go to uh, the health food, health food store to find your alpha lipoic acid, 400 milligrams or so of, uh, of um, alpha lipoic acid every day. And then make sure that she's using all the digestive system support in addition to Eliminating problem foods, probiotics, the nightly essence, fermented foods, fiber every day. Work with general health strategies, starting with the digestive system and the blood sugar system. And always, 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 whenever this kind of thing happens, where there's a mysterious symptom, where there's a confusing complex of symptoms, get a list of things that are going wrong with the body, and that will make it easier to backtrack to the root. So get a, put a list together of uh, issue, health issues, use digestive support and blood sugar support, and get on the nutritional supplement as as uh, we just listed. Thanks for your call, Pete. I hope that helps. Anything else going on? Uh, no, I think you were right on with the last part. Uh, she had MS, and I say had MS, because everybody's amazed that the doctors are saying it's gone. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. How did she do that? She's Even she's amazed. How, how did, what did she do to make it su- supposedly go away? We don't know, but all okay. of a sudden... Her, her neurologist was trying to push her to keep taking drugs and shots and everything. Well, and there may be some neurologist. residual in, there may be some residual inflammation at the level of the nerves. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Thank you so much, Pete. Thank you. Have, a, have a great day. Yeah. All right. Talk to you later. All right. We got a uh, couple lines open. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. If you're on hold, hang on. We'll get you when we come back from our break. You're listening to the Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll return right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We got lines open for you. Let's go to Diane in Nebraska. I wonder if this is my friend Diane. Diane, is that you? Hi, Dan. Is this my friend Diane, who I used to talk to all the time? Who we used to write all the time? Hi, yeah. Diane. Where you been? Oh, listening to you. Okay, good. I like that. What's going on? Uh, the trip treatment. I have a testimonial. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I um, had a strange rash, kind of a stingy, itchy rash on my face. And uh, I tried all the products, but the uh, retinol actually helped hmm. the most. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Did you try the Omega-6 yes. healing cream? Yes, I did. And the, re- I the... Just did the Yeah. And the retinol worked better for the rash? It did. It did. It, it relieved the stinging and itching, and I don't know what I would have done without it. Okay. Well, that's an awesome testimonial. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Diane. Coming from you, because you're, you're hard to please sometimes, right? I appreciate you saying that. Because when I do something wrong, you're right on top of it. I know that. So when I do something right, I appreciate the compliment. 
You thank bet. you. Thank you so much, Diane. Thanks for sharing that. Have a great day. Right. Good to talk to you. All right. I love love hearing success stories. If you got a success story, share it with us here. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Got lines open for you. Let's go to uh, Texas and say good morning to Liza. Thanks for holding, Liza. What's going on? Hello. Uh, it's Lisa. Oh, Lisa. I'm sorry. Hi, Lisa. Yeah, okay. No problem. Howdy from Texas. Howdy. Um, Hi, um, I, I have a little problem. I've been on the 90 for life for several years. I love the BTT 2.0, and I'm doing great. And then I broke my foot about four and a half months ago. Okay. And um, since then, both feet have been feeling cold and chilled, um, oh. and then started to get odd sensations in my legs. And I thought it was, uh, you know, the lower legs, and I was thinking it was due to... Um, maybe lack of circulation because I couldn't walk because it was pretty badly broken. Okay. Um, And it was healing nicely, the bone. Um, The doctor was taking x-rays. And then last week I fell and I uh, pulled tendons and ligaments of that same foot, Mm. re-x-rayed. And now I have osteoporosis in the lower part of the foot towards the toes. And also, um, he says calcification of the leg veins. Well, none so of that's I good. No idea, how how I old are? No idea what's going on? Lisa, how old? Can I ask you just about how old you are? Sure. I'm 51. Okay, so you're a young gal, and are you on any medication? No, I've always been healthy, and so I've been taking the 90 for life. Okay. And I've been doing good. Okay, now, uh, without getting into too much specifics, uh, how's, have you noticed that, the, that your weight is, any changes in your weight over the last 20 years or so? Um, probably last 20 years I've gained maybe um, 20 pounds or so. Okay, all right, good. I'm not good, but that, that helps, helps me uh, understand a couple things. Because right, that sounds like a, an issue with your insulin and your blood sugar. That's what happens as we get older. I don't know of anybody who can't say... Uh, who, uh, that they're, uh, who can say that they're the same weight at the age of 50 that they were at the age of 30. And when you think about it, why should it be different? Well, the reason it's different is because what happens to almost 99 or 100 percent of Americans, or probably around the world, it's the same problem, is that our blood sugar changes, or how we handle our blood sugar changes. Insulin become we become resistant to insulin. Insulin doesn't work as well. Blood sugar goes up. Sugar gets stored as fat, and this creates all kinds of biochemical changes in the body. The more fat we're carrying, the less likely we are to be able to deliver nutrients to the body, especially the lower extremities, as any diabetic will tell you. Diabetic uh, neuropathies and foot disease and leg problems are, are extremely common. People have what's called dysglycemia or messed up blood sugar. So if you're not healing as well as you might be, and that's what it sounds like is going on, first thing to do is check your blood sugar. And uh, you don't need not even check your blood sugar, but work with your blood sugar. That means more protein, less starchy foods, and nutrients that help your body process sugar. You can use the Sweeties. You can use the Ultimate Selenium. You can also use the Ultimate Niacin. All of those have uh, will help your body process sugar. More fiber in your diet. Uh, fiber will do double duty. Not only will it help you stabilize your sugar, but it will also improve digestive health. If you're not absorbing out of the gut, that can also out of the intestine. That is that can also compound problems with healing at the lower extremities also sounds like you have a connective tissue problem. That's what your tendons are. That's what your bone is. That's what your ligaments are. So it sounds like your connective tissue is not healing as well as it might. When that occurs, uh, there's a very good like, uh, very good chance uh, that your connective tissue in your, in your digestive system is not healing appropriately, appropriately either, and that can cause things like leaky gut syndrome. Uh, it's very likely that you're dealing with those kinds of issues as well. Now, if you want to be really specific and find out what exactly is going on, it probably wouldn't hurt you to do a food diary, or elimination diet, food diary, like we talk about on the program all the time. But if you don't want to mess around with that, just work on digestive health using uh, probiotics, the nightly essence, and fermented foods in addition to the aforementioned fiber. Then you're going to want to start working with connective tissue directly. There's a lot of things that you can do. Vitamin C is uh, the key element in all connective tissue building in the body. Without vitamin C, you don't build connective tissue. In science and biochemistry, we say it's the rate-limiting step 
in the production of connective tissue. Scurvy, which everybody knows is a vitamin C deficiency, a, vitamin, a disease caused by vitamin C deficiency, scurvy is actually a connective tissue disease where you don't make connective tissue. Now, you don't have to have full-blown scurvy to have a connective tissue problem linked to vitamin C deficiency, so it's a very good chance that you may be dealing with something like that, especially if you're only getting your vitamin C from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which will get you 1,000 milligrams per dose, but you really need probably 2,000, 3,000, even up to 5,000 milligrams, especially if you're healing. So maybe get on a vitamin C supplement, get some vitamin C powder. One, one knock on vitamin C for folks who are going to start increasing their dose, their daily dose, is when you, when you up, uh, increase the amount of vitamin C that you're taking, sometimes you can get some digestive issues, some bloating or gas or even diarrhea. So you want to increase your dose a little bit slowly on the vitamin C. Glucosamine, obviously, chondroitin, these are very important for helping build connective tissue. Collagen supplements can be helpful. You can find that, those in pretty much any health food store. Bone soup, which will get you collagen as well as, as, well as uh, uh, glucosamine and chondroitin. Gelatin. Knox gelatin is one of the all-time great uh, connective tissue building supplements. I'm calling it a supplement, but it's really a food. Gelatin, of course, is just collagen. And when you put gelatin in your system, your body gets all the raw materials for building collagen. You'll get some gelatin in your bone soup. But just straight Knox gelatin. If you can find organic gelatin, that's going to always be best. It's a little, a little bit trickier to find. And always do your Beyond Tangy Tangerine and your vitamin C with your gelatin. I'd also be using essential fatty acids. One of the neat benefits of your ultimate EFAs, essential fatty acids, is they help turn on genes that make proteins, genes that make connective tissue proteins specifically. So using your ultimate EFAs, if you're not already doing that, about nine of them a day. Don't forget magnesium. Don't forget calcium. Don't forget zinc. These are very important minerals for building connective tissue. Vitamin A is also a very important supplement for building connective tissue. Now, here's some bonus for you. When you do all these strategies for building connective tissue, it's going to help the connective tissue in your gut, in your intestine, and it's also going to help the connective tissue in your skin. So all of these strategies are anti-wrinkle strategies. They will keep your skin looking younger, longer. So for anybody who's listening who doesn't have necessarily a, a broken bone or, or a sprained ligament or needs to heal or recover from some kind of injury, using all of these strategies, vitamin A, zinc, and, and and bone broth protein and vitamin C and all the things I just talked, I just told you about, they will help you with your skin. They'll help protect you from wrinkles in addition to helping you build tissue, uh, build bone and, and ligaments and, and tendons. And in, in addition to helping support digestive health, you'll also get cardiovascular benefits. This is one of the, the hidden, uh, uh, hidden benefits that you get from building connective tissue is you strengthen your cardiovascular system, not just the heart, which as we said, lives on a framework or a skeleton of connective tissue, but all also the blood vessels themselves, the circulatory vessels themselves. So all the strategies that we just talked about will help you, not just with your ankle, not just with your leg, uh, Lisa, but also with your appearance in terms of your skin, with your absorption of nutrients in terms of your digestive system, with your cardiovascular system. In other words, they're all anti-aging strategies in addition to healing strategies. And this is the great benefit of using nutritional supplementation, people. Not drugs can't make this claim. Only nutrients can make this claim. When you use nutrition to heal the body, you get wonderful side benefits, extra benefits. When you use drugs, you get side effects. When you use nutrients, you get side benefits. And this is one of the greatest advantages to using nutrition instead of drugs when it comes to taking care of the body. So does that help, uh, Lisa? Oh, is that good? I think, I think you have uh, probably hit the nail on the head. Um, although I'm wondering, though, will that help with the calcification? Absolutely, it will help with calcification. Throw in some vitamin K which is a very powerful anti-calcium okay. nutrient. And make sure you're getting some sunshine. Sunshine is very important for the calcium system. All right, got to go, Lisa. Thank you so much for your call from Texas. I appreciate it. And that is all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Thanks for listening, friends. I am Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 